<laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're having a great conversation about coffee, about the cups, our vessels, our vessels in which the coffee is contained, <laughs> and how I need a Days of Our Lives mug. So, folks, figure that out for me. All right. A Braze Pub mug would be kind of cool. You know, I have Kelly's in one hand and Braze Pub in the other, and I'll just double fist the coffee during the morning. There you It'd go. probably really help the show. <laughs> Something has to. Just kidding. We're doing great. We're doing yeah, we great. struggle. Oh boy, do we struggle. Oh. No. It's the worst show on YouTube. <laughs> no, no, man, there's some real no, stinkers out not. there. There are some real yeah, stinkers yeah. out there. We're fun at least. We are fun. We're fun because we we take soaps, right? The ridiculous, stupid world of soaps. The wacky, mm -hmm. unrealistic, sideways mm -hmm. dimension of soaps. And we take that nonsense, and we just make it super fun. That's what we do here on the 10th floor. We everybody. really do. <laughs> That's what we try to do. Absolutely. We don't make fun of it. We make it fun. And that is something that we stand on here on the 10th, um, the 10th Floor Podcast Network. That's, here's the thing is that I think soaps are fun. I love the soap opera genre, and I love the angst. I love the ridiculousness. I love the... Mike's showing up in the screen in the scene. Yeah. Accidentally. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I love every single thing <laughs> this week. I did, I did uh, have, I don't not on so. days. General Hospital got a lot of flack for the deck sequence. I didn't you know notice what? anything wrong with I it. I love the deck sequence. Well, I didn't notice it. I thought it was hokey, but I didn't notice it anything that hokey. I didn't notice anything. Really, my biggest thing, I know this isn't days. We're here we are talking about GH Hardy, but who cares? Whatever. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to yeah. Days for Dummies. Um, I'm Matt. That's Kat. Here's Angela. It's it's a wild, just loose morning for us. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, when it comes to like that deck sequence, really the, the thing that could have quote unquote saved it was to give it more, like a little more physical space. Right. Because you could see him like. I agree. Like keeping. I, I don't small. understand why he had to be in the vest. Aside from, I guess, when they're doing those things, they're in a vest. But I'm just going for as much accuracy as they could possibly could, and, I guess. Uh, just like you know, <laughs> more than any other show, mm -hmm. General Hospital gets the most buck for its production dollar. Definitely, hundred percent. You know what I mean? Even with the hokey scenes, you, you know why? It's you because. Know, one, it's a soap opera. It's because the fans pay for the marketing on General Hospital, and it's a wonderful thing. GH doesn't have to worry about ads in Times Square or airplanes over studios or or, or newspaper clippings about Elizabeth <laughs> or whatever. You know, whatever it is that's been purchased over the last 12 months. Matt's choosing violence on the Lord's Day. <laughs> no, I actually, I actually had a really interesting Not conversation it, baby. with another insider about this, about, you know, fans and mm -hmm. their uh, passion and what mm -hmm. effect it could possibly have on the show. And it doesn't have a whole lot of impact past things like, well, the fans bought an ad in Times Square. Can we pull back mm -hmm. our magazine ad that we bought in Time Magazine <laughs> and use that budget to buy a prop or to get a llama or to, right. I don't know, give exactly. somebody a raise? You know, like, I, like and then and yeah. this, this other insider was like, you're not wrong. Well, I mean, <laughs> I I have no problem with, I think that if fans want to pull their money together and get a mobile billboard or a plane over the studio or send their faves flowers, send their Do faves, it. you send know, chocolate, you know what, I have love that stuff. no issue with this. This is, you know, if it makes people happy, that's fine. We had Ken Schreiner on my this channel only saying, issue, <laughs> my only issue comes in when fans think that they did those things so they are then owed something. Yes. Yeah. Because it's well, not a recipe for disappointment, isn't it? <laughs> right. They show you it, you show you do these things to show your love and <clears throat> you know your passion for something, but you can't it doesn't make you any better than any other fandom. No. And it doesn't entitle you to any. <laughs> If you do something without being asked, you cannot complain about the response. Right. And Positive or negative. You are still one set of eyes viewing the show. Mm -hmm. And I deal, I, I deal with, I deal with, I deal with like little things in regular life when it comes to things like this. Like, mm -hmm. um, I'm finding in my old age that if somebody surprises me with something, I'm not happy about it. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's very weird. Like little things like, oh, I bought you an Uber. Why'd you do that? I didn't. It's... Now I have to leave before I was ready. Now, you know, yeah. like my whole thing, my whole plan is, 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 is messed yeah. up. Um, so I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it when it comes to like right. doing something and then like hoping for a positive response. But, mm-hmm. but if the person isn't receptive or, mm-hmm. you know, if the company isn't receptive or if the company is like, great, cool. Right. And then they move on and don't pay attention to it. Right. It's, it's just and, unfortunate. And another thing is that for a long time, General Hospital especially hasn't done the traditional soap, Bible, outlines, storyboards, things like that. But from what I understand, Patrick and Elizabeth are bringing them back. And they're going to fall in line with all the soaps. And this is relevant to days, Young and the Restless, Bold and the Beautiful, General Mm -hmm. Hospital. Usually soaps have a Bible. And that is character histories, character descriptions, sets, important things. And then outlines, you are supposed to go out roughly a year, broad overstrokes. You know, where are they going to be in 12 months? They're going to be the very vague Mm storylines. And then they get broken down further and further and further and further. But like Days of Our Lives shoots six months, six to eight months in advance. Correct. Of Aaron. They're really up our head right Writing. now. Writing. If, if, if we're to but take. They are really far out right now. If we're to take the Bill, uh, Bill Hayes funeral. Um, as is like an indication of how far ahead days is right now. They're, they're massively yeah. ahead more so than ever. Uh, massively. And you also have to understand is that while they film that far ahead, they're more months ahead in writing. Mm-hmm. And I mean, they're, they've already been working on next year's storylines. They're in the middle of spring For 2025. Yeah. It's, that's how it goes. And even with like, on General Hospital, we know that a few of the breakdown writers were fired Weeks like ago. in January, mm-hmm. months, but some of their scripts were still showing up this week. Yes. The last one, I guess. Even though, right. Because even though General Hospital is anywhere from three to six weeks ahead in filming, sometimes as many as eight, depending on their dark week cycle, mm-hmm. the writing is much further ahead. Yeah, that's definitely how we mm-hmm. understand it as well. You know, right. we, you know we, so, hey, I look Fido Xavier, and he's just got a stack of scripts that are coming up that he's got to shoot in a month, mm-hmm. and he's like, you think they wrote those last week? Ha! Huh. No. And, mm-hmm. but that's also why <laughs> people are like, especially with Days of Our Lives, why aren't they listening to fan feedback? Well, they can't respond to it very what quickly. What are they supposed to do with something that's already... They can't, they, one, they don't have the budget to pivot things on a dime and throw out months worth of work. Mm-mm. They don't. Period, end of story. And even more for Days of Our Lives. Mm-hmm. Two, what fans are they supposed to listen to? That's the question about about it from, from you know, all the, six exactly. nominated soaps this year uh, is right. what, what fans and, do you get And to the it? ones that weren't nominated. You know, little wonky behind the scenes you know information nice to see you too sweetie yeah Jeannie and sandra um, they're here um, in the yes. chat with us um Hi, guys <laughs> the soaps the powers that be estimate that only about 10 percent of the viewing audience post about soaps online okay that makes sense. it's possible that it could be a little bit more with days of our lives now that they are just streaming but probably not much, much more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and even that 10% don't agree on everything. No, not at all. Of course not. Not at all. So, and the vast majority of the viewing audience, the overall viewing audience, mm-hmm. just watches their show. Yeah. They don't fast forward. They don't watch for one character, one pairing, one storyline. They do they what they're supposed to do with it. Watch. They put it on, and if it's good that the day, show. they're invested, they watch it. If it's not so interesting to them that day, they get up and do something else and kind of watch it in the side of their eye. Right. And, and listen, to it. listen to it. Right. And the thing is, is that, I mean, when you think about how long these shows have been on, and most of us have been watching them since childhood, and mm. it's not like we're spring chickens. 
No. You know, I'm not going to be 50 <laughs> years old in a couple of weeks. I have been watching my earliest memories of soap operas, like cognizant scenes and things I remember, go back 40 years. There was, and we we got the soap opera digest back then, oh, weekly yes. in the mail or at the grocery oh, yeah, store. Too. Or you had the oh, TV well, guide. I, I, mine was delivered along with TV guide. My mother, you. <laughs> you had the TV guide listings. If you didn't catch your show or record your show, you were never seeing it again. In the oh, you better ask your friends what happened. Yeah, you could. You, yeah, exactly. Or, or read it was it, I lost guess. in the ether. I um, you would, I, you could read my, about it next week in the soap opera digest recap. Yeah, my little my little teenage mind wasn't even watching the shows, but I was still relatively invested enough from when I was a little kid that I would pick up the digest right. when it came every once in a week, and I would at mm -hmm. the very least look at the comings and goings section to see if a character that right. I knew was leaving or returning or, or something like that. Right. Exactly. I enjoyed getting that magazine. I enjoyed getting that little magazine. And now we are the oh, magazine. God. Right? My mother and I used to fight over it. If I got it first, I'd bring it into my room and she'd be like, where's my soap opera digest? I'm like, I don't know. It hasn't gone yet. <laughs> I'm still reading letters to the editor, mom. <laughs> They're but doing an expose. The thing is that Emily people Quarterman. just watched the show. Amber Tamley's and that's leaving. Still... I have to read about her next project. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Joan and of Arcadia. And that's how it's so done. Interesting. <laughs> The show so actually really the good, writers though. for soaps have to, the best thing they can do for their shows is choose the storylines they think are the best for their shows and commit to them and write to them. Absolutely. Right. Period. They, they, they can't listen to, oh, this fan base wants this, but this fan base wants this. It's not how soaps work. It's just not. And they can't work that way. And that's it, it, it doesn't even matter what the subject matter is. We, you have a large group, regardless of what, what it is. You have a large group. You're not going to please everybody. Mm -mm. I mean, that, that's, mm -mm. that's, uh, that's just that's just the human nature of it all. So, I'm having, so that's you know, why they need to come up with their stories <laughs> and commit. But, they are the writers, from period, having, end of story. From having five kids, you know, you're not going to make all of those happy at one time. To bringing snacks to a, a church choir, you're not going to make everybody happy. Uh, with that, no. to being the boss, hosting a office. podcast, hosting a podcast, to hosting a podcast, just being and on you're not Twitter. Gonna satisfy everybody there too. Exactly. But to making a post on Twitter, you're <laughs> not going to make everyone happy. Mm -mm. Believe me. You can't no. even congratulate somebody who's been nominated for an Emmy without it turning into some sort of s, s, s slinging fest. <laughs> You know, like, I'm very proud of myself because I have stayed out of that fray. It's it's, it's tough. I it's tough. I had a little meltdown on Thursday, on Friday. Everybody, check it out. Late night tonight, the Emmys mm -hmm. edition. Um, <laughs> because I, 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 you know, in the conversation, it just, it just, it just came up inside of me, and I just got really bubbly and frustrated. It was over... insane. It, just seriously, can she breathe properly without? You know. Um, and it comes from all I ends too. Dead. You know, you say you say, can she even breathe properly? And then I can say, well, who are you talking about? Because I could list four different actresses. That true, <laughs> but you know which one right now is the main one with yeah, the target. Poor Cynthia Watros, man, she gets nominated right, and then suddenly she's being bullied behind the scenes. Um, anytime it's like, oh hey, Hold and on, I'll be nominated, right. and then and then every response, goodbye. He said, I'll be right back. And then every response pretty much is like, um, hey, you suck. Anyway. I I had I have a I, I think I, I think I'm doing myself a service by not paying attention that closely. It's, it gets it gets frustrating. Like, <laughs> if you let it in, you know, I, I I've gotten pretty good over the years of not letting it in. Mm -hmm. But it really was that Gates conversation that we were having on Friday that kinda like peaked it because like I wanna be excited over that show, but I'm finding it hard to be. Well, I want to be excited over it too. Yeah, absolutely. It's, said, it's saying something. It's saying something great for our genre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's not going to die and go away. No, it's it's super awesome and I'm amazing and it's wonderful and I'm looking forward to it. But I'm going to look forward to it when there's real information. Anyway, check out that Friday episode, folks. We we broke down the Emmy nominations. There are several for Days of Our Lives this year. Mm -hmm. Several upon several. Wally Kerr, yeah. Lindsay Godfrey. Um, Emily O'Brien, Dick Van yes. Dyke, yes, Eric, Eric Marstolf, 
Yes. All of those five people nominated for Emmy, Emmy including um, as well uh, Ava, you know. Um, you yeah. Know, Tamara uh, Braun. Ta Tamara. Tamara Braun. Tamara Braun. Braun. Lots of Emmy nominations for days in the acting categories this year, and that's really exciting. And that's and 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 that's unusual because usually when it comes when it usually uh, General Hospital and Days of Our Lives as far as nomination counts would be swapped. Yeah, yeah. Last year GH was was issue, more right? nomination heavy than Days. Days had like Thomas Demira, and that was like it. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well, yeah, good, good, strong year yeah. for days acting wise. Then 2023 was. I was surprised at how few nominations General Hospital had. Yeah, I guess it is what it is. So sorry. Hey, it's okay. my back. parents are on a cruise right now. Mm -hmm. Um, just peeing away that inheritance is any chance they get. Um, and my great aunt <laughs> who is six is they my responsibility. Until it's yours. And she calls, so I have mm, to take her calls. Of course. So just in case, but she's fine. We were, um, we were congratulating the Days of Our Lives Emmy nominee, nominees, going over yes. that list and saying congratulations to Wally Kurth. We were saying that, you know, what's really heady, like a lot of a lot of Days actors nominated this year, more so than last year, definitely. Which, you know, more so than usual, because usually mm. Days actors get... Now, did you guys talk about who was noticeably absent, though, from Days of Our Lives? Are you talking about Ari Zuger? Because we talked about that on Friday. Not just Ari. Hmm. I thought Dan Who? also Dan. was amazing Dan. in that storyline. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And, I mean, Burton had some great stuff as Harris earlier. In, you know, when nominated with for her, an Emmy for his... Harris. That's just your I don't even think. I don't, I don't for think. I don't think. Harris for Beyond Salem. I don't <laughs> think Steve uh, necessarily. I don't. I would. I wouldn't be surprised to hear that he, he didn't might submit. not have submitted. And that's the big but... thing. And that is the huge yeah. thing uh, when it comes to the daytime Emmys specifically. It is a crapshoot if somebody actually submitted themselves. And so when it comes right. to the reaction of the snub, the snub, how come, how come? Until I know this person submitted and was not nominated, right. it's hard for me to really right. get in on that. Well, right. it's not a it's snub if you that... didn't apply. I mean, it's like right. thinking, well, why didn't I get hired? Well, because you didn't put in your resume. <laughs> oh, right. But the thing is, is that the shows can submit them as well. But they don't always because unless there's, you know, they really only have one person for the category, you know, the shows aren't going to show favoritism mm -hmm. usually. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is Burton submitted or they submitted for him for Beyond Salem and he got a nomination. That was, yeah. that, was that was last in year though, right? Supporting last year, or was it in guest last year? I can't remember. I don't remember the year him being nominated last year. Oh, he so. was nominated he last year. Was he didn't go to the awards. He just didn't go? No, because he, he had a hmm. he had a comedy show that weekend. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even he had know a show he was on the East Coast. <laughs> yep. No, <laughs> conflicting with a uh, with one of their with one of their um, yeah. yeah um, their but, shows. You know, <clears throat> whether the show or the actor themselves, you know, until I, I know whether or not they even put themselves up to be nominated, it's really difficult for me to say. Well, how come? Because I don't know. I don't know if they even wanted yeah. to be. You know, specifically right. with the Ari Zucker situation, we talked about it. You know, on the Friday thing, it's right. entirely possible she didn't want to. Because if she's nominated, then what? Press interviews, right. red carpets, and what is the questions going to want to be about? And if they can't be asked, then the energy is going to be You're weird. Right. I would right. not have submitted this year if I was Ari. Dan was phenomenal, too. I don't know what to say about all that kind of stuff. You know? So, and it's but, also being like, know, well, how I come, mean, how come, how come? Not and everybody then, can be nominated. And then on the other side of that, the other side of your mouth without saying it is then the people who are nominated are not worthy in some capacity because such and such is there. Right. You know, and it's like, it's just weird. Well, I me. mean, everybody was good, but I do think there were people in some categories that I was surprised to see them there and not see others there based on performance. Mm -hmm. But you know, it is what it is, and always exciting for them to come out. It's super cool, and then I'm looking forward to eventually that email application hitting the inbox so we can see if we can go. Yeah, um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it work this year, but I'm going to try. We're going to we're going to do everything try. that we can too. You know, it's not it's not a guarantee yeah. for anybody. Um, no. And then you know, no. uh, and then yeah, and then yes, yes, it's going to be a great Emmy time. It's going to be a super mm -hmm. enjoyable experience. And we had a fun week yep. of days. We really did. This week, I yes. thought was kind of fun. 
okay? We had the ridiculousness of Paulina Price out there trying to find Chanel in the snowstorm in a radiating the Salem countryside. Radioactive! Irradiating the countryside. Riddle me this. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Marlena go into the room with a suit on to discover that Paulina was missing? Marlena. That's that didn't make sense to me either. Has been host to the devil twice. I was going to say, does that make her you know, immune so she's to just, you know, she's, a, she's a little more physically okay. tough than the rest. Her, her body has really gone through it. And it's just added layers of protection that normal people don't have. Yes. It just bounces right off of her. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's going to take a heavy dose of radiation in order to actually hurt. <laughs> Paulina, uh, not Paulina, but Marla, she's been poisoned. She went to heaven. She interacted with, with godly Everett and is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nothing can take this woman down. <laughs> Not to mention, most people don't know she has a strawberry allergy. <laughs> oh, she, She's got a strawberry Paulina allergy. She made me laugh and, and made they're... me laugh. It's like, <laughs> oh, God, give me a snow plow and find my baby. <laughs> give Jack A a line and she will deliver it. <laughs> Jack A will deliver Paulina lines. Paulina is going to mama bear. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, it's good to see it's fun to see i enjoy the energy and just the goofiness just because she knows what she's doing out there she knows mm -hmm. irradiated <laughs> paulina looking for chanel in the snow is stupid <laughs> stuff <laughs> and she is I leaning into show. it and giving us a show and i i love it now <laughs> now talk about somebody that should be nominated right yeah. But I don't know. But I don't. I, she's one I'm pretty sure does not submit, just like Drake doesn't submit. Exactly. exactly. And I think he doesn't submit because he just thinks the whole thing is ridiculous with them having to pay and all of that stuff. And that's fine. He doesn't care about that stuff. And I'm pretty sure she doesn't submit because he doesn't. So, I but just, he goes. He goes. Yeah. You know, know what I mean? He supports, he supports his show. His, yeah. I think yeah, that it's, we got it's to fun. Meet him last year. I think it's yeah. fun that Drake Hogeston is uh, going to be that legendary soap actor. That was on for 50 years and never caught a nomination. Because <laughs> you got other people. You, you, know, Eric you know he's getting a Lifetime Achievement Award at some you, point. Yeah, you know, you got like people like so. Eric Braden, you know, who are basically like choke slamming people now trying to get that, that, that Emmy finally. You know, when Drake's just like, <laughs> I'm just here for the party. What kind of booze you yeah. got this year? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the after going down? Yeah. I love Where Drake. I really do. Down? I know that yeah. I'm not a young man anymore, but I can still get it. I still, well, I mean, I think of that man, and all I can think of is that wink he gave me as he held my hands at the his my hand in both of his. <laughs> she Emmy, had a Drake and I moment, just Mama, felt, Like you had Wally moments. I had a yep. moment with Drake that is embedded in my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Nichols, so Wally Kurtz, <laughs> Drake Hogustin, just flirting it up. With the 55 plus ladies, 50 plus ladies. I am going to be 50 <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Plus I'm going to throat punch you. The 49 plus <laughs> ladies. Don't ask me anybody's age. You can stick a nine-year-old in front of me and be like, how old is this kid? And I'll be like, I don't know, 15? 37? <laughs> how old is this kid? Seven? <clears throat> Matthew, they're yeah. 12. I don't, I don't know. He's even asked me. He's even asked me before. What am I going to be on my next birthday, Mom? <laughs> I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm not paying He didn't know that was going to be math. <laughs> my birthday is coming up, though. You know, this next next Sunday is going to be my big birthday extravaganza. Yeah. Oh. Right here live on the 10th Floor Podcast Network. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to remember to put up balloons on the <laughs> on the layout. Nice. And it's going to be exciting. And then it's going to be fun. And we're going to not do anything special other than have it be my birthday. Are we going to do that for my birthday, too? Sure. When is it? May 14th. So soon. You're really stepping on my toes now, Angela. After Matt. Well, we could do it the week after my birthday because my birthday's on a Tuesday and I'm pretty sure it's Mother's Day, the Sunday before my birthday. May 12th. Probably. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. What we'll do yeah. is we'll just, we'll just say happy birthday, Matt and Angela. Matt and Angela's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh sandra says and the fact that nominations and awards are based on specific submissions correct it's not an award for the actors themselves 365 24 7 so yeah what they submit okay, so has to be compared to what they against submit, each other i can give you guys insight into this so 
um, the show for like bet for the best directing and all of those and lighting and da, 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 they submit, I believe, two episodes. That's maybe what they three, said but last I think it's year. two. Frank Valentini said that they had submitted um Holly yeah. being burned and then Greenland won some Greenland. Thing? Yeah. Um, would it be Greenland last maybe year? Something or Greenland, no, maybe Greenland. No, Peter. Maybe no. it was Peter getting bashed up. It Peter. was something. Yeah, was I something. think Peter dying or something. It, the stuff with Anna mm -hmm. and Felicia. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. I know that for the Writers Guild Award this year, they submitted two of the Greenland episodes. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's what they they did not win, and they did. It was just them versus Days, which Days was one. Yeah. Congratulations, Days something. of Our Lives. Yes. They now, so for the though. Emmys, they submit two episodes. Now, the actors submit 15-minute reels. That's a long time. And, yes, but they time. can be from a, clips from any episode throughout the entire year. They can paste it together. It can't be montages. It has to be actual scenes. Mm -hmm. Now, something that's interesting is, like, somebody who plays more than one character, like John Lindstrom. Mm -hmm. He can only submit, each submission is for one character. He can submit for Ryan and for Kevin, right. but it's two separate submissions. See, that's something oh, that wow. we asked on Friday, days. is because Wally Kurth is nominated for Justin Kiriakis, and we were like, what if, what if he also put himself he could. in for Ned? Would they could he could. have selected him mm -hmm. twice and be like, Wally Kurth for Ned and Wally Kurth for Justin? They could. They, they could. I don't know if it's ever but happened, but I know that it can. And I think that he deserved, so, he had plenty so Ron, for both of so, us. So, uh, but. Mr. Canary never did that for Adam and Stuart? I don't know. You and know, it might I, have been different if back I, then. If I was David Canary, I would have just picked the character that had the better year. It's like, I want to be nominated yeah. for Stuart this year. I want to be nominated for Adam this year. But I'm that. just saying that because I do remember, you know, there were there were many years where he was phenomenal as both. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Yeah. I can't say that John Lindstrom is phenomenal at both. Uh, and I, yeah, he I mean, has yeah. capability of being that great, but Kevin's not written great. Can you put Kevin and Ryan in a room together and forget the fact that it's John Lindstrom both times? No. Can yeah. you put Stuart and Adam in a room together and forget the fact that it's David Canary as both roles? Yes. Yes. I think mm -hmm. that's the difference. And it's no knock against um, um against because everything John was Lindstrom. so different about the two. You know, the way he, um, uh, the personality wasn't even close, and 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 his just the physicality of it, mannerisms, the way he held yes. his head, um, yes, uh, even the voice, like the where where his voice came from was different. Exactly. Um, Stewart yeah. had a little more of like a like a like like a throaty mouthy like speaking from his throat and, and really like enunciating his S's a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then Adam was very bassy in the chest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very different. Very, very different. So good. Very I'm getting different. chills just remembering it. Just the power of the performance for me, 30 something years old. Well, yeah. yeah. It's been removed. on the air since 2011. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and then he passed away and I was really sad about that. I remember posting on Facebook when he passed away a big like long like yeah. a nice thing about it. I, I do remember that. I, do, I, I said wonderful things about Stuart because as a kid, I just loved Stuart Chandler. Oh, Stuart was great. He, he, was just, just... he just he just spoke to my little kid heart for some reason. Yeah. Something about yep. some, something about a pure soul on a soap. Now give me a <laughs> villain. Give me a dastardly villain. Give me Stefan O. All right. <laughs> Bring him in. Deeper. Well... I know, you know, we have Constantine is, is a villain in my book. Well, he's definitely a villain. What the hell is Maggie thinking? My God. Why is that not. She's not thinking at all. <laughs> she's at just all. Not. Yeah. I don't think it's that insane. wedding is going to happen. I think it's going to almost happen. Oh, definitely. Uh, not. No, I'm having a bad feeling that it's actually going to happen and the fallout is going to be what's the big thing. Well, what's the matter? I'm just here trying to be a happy man and, and honor my uh, my new wife and, and my dear friend, Victor. <laughs> Victor. <laughs> He's okay. Well, I was hoping, you know, I, I was, you know he, he intimidated little Thomas, but he didn't really scare the crud out of him, which Ooh, I was happy to see. Give me my card back, did. little boy, or I will throw you in the lake. 
<laughs> oh man. He is, uh... You know, it, when, when it comes to a soap villain, though, they usually got a voice. Yep, they do. Yeah, he but does. I almost always yeah. do have a voice. <laughs> I mean, the actor is great. The character, I just want to, you know, punch in the throat. But he you know. is, that's when you know he's good, though, right? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, you know. And I... you're right. Maggie is not <laughs> using Maggie, her sensibilities at you've all. you've been a soap veteran for, for 25, for 50 years. You should know better yes. than this. Okay. Hey, you know? Distracted and go back to Titan as well and be there. He's distracted <laughs> from the house. Constantine mm -hmm. is gonna just gonna just try to steal her blind. Is what he's Pretty gonna much. try to do legally. Yeah. He's gonna yep. start, you know, poisoning her soup with strawberries. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, that you gotta lay now that she's in the end. <laughs> well, I wanted to say earlier when you made that Marlene is addic uh, um, allergic to strawberries thing was that. Um, uh, was that was that um, <clears throat> John Black has been has been Princess Brighting her when it comes to low mm. doses of strawberries throughout her life. Oh the <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Why can't I remember the? It's the poison scene with uh, Wallace Shawn. Yeah, in with the, the yeah. Ball. <laughs> What you don't taste is I can't remember the name of the it's poison. All good. It's thinking. all good. You know, honestly, I've never I even seen that. that movie all the way through. Anyway. I know. I just broke Angela. It always breaks somebody when I tell them I've never seen The Princess Bride. We didn't have it. It wasn't a VHS. I haven't seen it either. It, I've it, never even seen bits and pieces of it. It wasn't the family film. It wasn't a part of the library. I just never saw it. I I'm, not movie, watch that movie. I'm not a movie person. It's like the night's out. Oh, I'm man. asleep. If, uh, you know, if hey, I was actually, I follow him you know. on Twitter. Follow, follow Carrie Elwes on Twitter, who's yeah. hysterical. And he was posting the other day about his wife staying up late. For the That's Taylor Robin Swift Hood Men in Tights, Mom. Album. Yes. <laughs> Just so you know. Yes, he is. Oh, I, met, I, I, was, I met a teenage girl in the store the day before yesterday. And she was a big Taylor Swifty fan. Mm -hmm. and I said, well, and, I, and I, I was talking with her and I said, well, I hope you have an opportunity to meet her someday. She goes, oh, my gosh. I said, well, you might. You know, I've actually met a lot of celebrities in my life. She said, really? She's like, well, I said, well, I've met a lot of soap opera people. And, you know, you maybe you wouldn't know who they are. And she goes, no, I probably wouldn't. I, I said, oh, let me think of that. Somebody, somebody, somebody I've met. And I said, okay, I've met Uncle Jesse, John Stamos. She goes, <laughs> oh, I know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> she was excited about it. That's a reference that's far quickly, quickly leaving the youth, <clears throat> though. Well, so I they, just went down a rabbit familiar, hole. Oh dear! But they're more familiar with Fuller House. Got it. Actually, mm. got it. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, he was on that show still, Uncle Jesse. So what's the rabbit hole you hey, fell yeah, into? He wasn't too good like Mary Kate Ashley. <laughs> Back when David Canary was getting his nominations and his mm -hmm. wins in Emmys, he was nominated for one nomination, but it was for both roles. It was for Adam and Stewart. As Adam Stewart Chamber and on All My Children. He, so he won five. He was nominated for 16. Whew. And he got paid oh, a double salary. Wow. Yeah, that's something we knew. That's something we knew. I don't know how we knew that. That he got paid the double that. salary? I don't know how we've known that, but we've known that since like the 90s. I don't know how. Maybe it was so Bob or Digest. I don't know. <laughs> but I remember, I remember mom and I having conversation, no, we talk, just having a talk about this and which when Stuart and Adam were both contracted characters, which wasn't all the time, but when mm -hmm. they both were double paycheck. Yeah. Good for David Canary. Very good. Very good. Blink remembers Blackie um, Parish, of course. Of course. I'm, gonna be, I'm not going to be on GH today. And even if I was, I would not speak about state of mind. <laughs> Angela, Angela just doesn't connect with the content. I mean, that's the simple answer. Yes. Yes. You know, I mean, you could take it in any yeah. crazy directions that you want to. Uh, but the simple answer yeah. is it just doesn't connect with her. It doesn't connect, you know, if, if it connects with you, awesome. If it makes you feel great, wonderful. If it doesn't, move on. <laughs> no harm. No I'm harm. not sure who's going to be the Lifetime Achievement honoree this year. Ooh. Um, I have a couple possibilities in mind. Uh, they haven't announced that. I don't think they have. No. Eden Regal. Okay. Who? Eden Regal. <laughs> well, they did have controversy about her last year. They might as well do it again this year. Do they have controversy? She's way too young for a lifetime achievement. 
Well, what she she went okay, cool. Is she gonna come back to soaps anytime soon? No? Great. Give her a lifetime achievement award. Is she coming back? No. Has she moved on with her life and her career to other things and is not looking back? Great. Give her the lifetime achievement award. I just want to see Eden Regal because I found that's Bianca, by the way, from all my children. Because I found out she is the sister of Sam Regal, who is a famous Dungeons and Dragons player and voiceover artist. Isn't that neat? They haven't announced yet who it is. No oh, idea. Okay. Uh, the lifetime well, achievement. I mean, do you have any, any ideas, Angela, who it might be? I mean, it, it could be Leslie. Ooh, Leslie Charlson. It could be Leslie. It's a great idea. Um, Jackie Z. Tony Geary. Can you give it to somebody? No, post, I don't know that they'd give it to her in postmortem. They might, but I mean, they could, but I don't know. Um, Tony Geary. <laughs> We're going to pry you off of your couch in Amsterdam. Wheel you. I know, right? To the, to the, not that, uh, not like, that you need it. You don't need to be You know what would be really great is if he sent screaming. his husband to accept it in his place and then people finally would have to accept the fact that he's gay and married to a man. He just has a husband that's different than being gay. I think it is, but okay. When I went to college, you, the pamphlet wasn't, are you gay, question mark. The pamphlet was, are you a man who has sex with men? Okay? We're, we're, mm -hmm. we're not about labels. Okay. 15 years ago. I... We're all about them now. <laughs> yes. We're all about them now. Um, so I'm trying to think of who else. Susan Flanners. She got it. Oh, yeah, she could. Um, 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 um Linda Dano. Susan Flannery. Uh, Linda Dano. Melody, Melody from Young and Restless. She's still, she's still on. She's still working. Melody you have to be not working? Still... I don't think you can still be on the show. I mean, maybe you could, but mm. um, I mean, John Anderson got it, I but I don't think they'd give it to Melody before they give it to Eric because he's older than I she. I don't is. think so either. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Um, I mean, John a... Anderson was still on Days technically when he Rachel Ames was nominated. When he was... What Rachel Ames? Mm hmm. Got to get yeah. that in. Got to get. She's like ninety nine. Um, Got to get that in. She is. Constant Towers. Ooh. I was about to say, I mean, she's a great one, too. I'm just not sure she was a big enough role. We you know what I mean? Because she was so yes. in and out. Yes. I think it's um, in games, right? a lot. Uh, yeah. See, the issue with Days is, is they have so many legendary characters still on the show. That are still there. They yeah. do. I mean, they do. Great. I mean, they could. Actually, I think Doug and um, – Susan got theirs, or Bill and Susan got theirs while they were still on. I think they had already, I think they got a joint one a few oh, years ago. It's nice that they, I mean, cool. on one hand, it's it's yeah. interesting. On the other hand, it's nice. Like, it's interesting that yeah. Susan Seaforth Hayes doesn't necessarily have accolades that are only in her name, but also at the same time, mm -hmm. it's really nice that they've had like this joint experience yeah. for so many years. Yeah. Yeah. They, they are not, there's no one else like them. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, mm -mm. not at all. No one else like them. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Uh, we probably should talk a little bit more about the show, though. Um, CEO Kristen, um, Holly and Tate. I don't really know what else to say about Holly and Tate. It's just continuing to rage. Well, yeah. they're, they're not going to stay away from each other unless they absolutely, you know. No. One of them, I guess, would have to betray the other for them to stay away from one another. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, no, no. Tate would have to betray Holly because she's already betrayed him. <laughs> yeah, she has. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah has. she has. And he's just he's dumb betraying boys her. So <clears throat> dumb boys. Boys are, yeah, they're dumb. This poor stupid good child. Thing they're cute. <laughs> no, good thing they're cute. He can't see the good forest for the trees. Well, you know, depending on who yeah. you ask, he's significantly less cute now. Um, let's see. CEO Kristen. CEO Kristen, apparently she's like, I haven't been on the show long enough in, in too many weeks, so I'm going to I'm gonna go after the company. I need something to get mm -hmm. me on screen. Mm -hmm. I love the Damara siblings. <laughs> That's the tweet. They, they, <laughs> they, they, are, they are an interesting bunch. They're they are so an fun. interesting bunch. All of them are. Yeah. You know, she had to the good one. 
Yep. And that's Stefan. And I will die on the hill <laughs> saying that <laughs> Stefano's daughters are more like him than any of his male offspring are. <laughs> Kristen Megan and, and Kristen. Chip off the old black. Are way more. Now, we haven't had an opportunity to send Megan. Is she dead? No, she's on the run. Oh, okay. Of course. Okay, yeah. we might have a chance to meet her someday then. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you guys started watching after she left. Yeah, we started, yeah. you know. We've um, not seen a Megan. Pretty yeah. much, you just you consider Leo and Dimitri hooking up as our first day, and anything before then, we have mm -hmm. no idea. Not a clue. Oh, okay. Not a clue. Like, like for example, Emily O'Brien nominated as Gwen this year for the Emmys. Yes. We saw the tail end of her time as Gwen on the show, which was very, mm -hmm. like, in Iceland and, and, and Goofy yes. and Madonna concert and then on the way out. So we really didn't see what she got nominated for. Yeah, she's phenomenal. She is. Oh, no she's doubt. so good. I saw. I saw somebody, so so good. I saw somebody saying, "I can't believe that Emily O'Brien has uh, been a better Teresa than the original." I like her as Teresa. And I think she's doing a good job. Where? Didn't Why? It. it didn't become a a, 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 a poop throwing storm. <laughs> <laughs> Jen Lilly is a great actress, and that's good, but. Emily O'Brien made the role hers. She really did. Bad wig and all. Bad wig and all. It's still a bad. And when wig. I look at her, and when I'm watching her now as Teresa, I don't think about Gwen anymore at all. Mm -mm. No, no. She is a phenomenal actress. She just she is. is. She is She's a little comedian. And I loved love her as Gwen. Gwen. I love her as Teresa. I will love her as Gwen again. I will love her as another personality of Everett's. Quite frankly, whatever they wanted to play. <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, right. Has the show ever done that? A personality hopping into somebody else's body? Yeah, like, yeah. Maybe in some way, you know, like, like didn't... And um, just like the crazy scenes like, that they're, Pat, you know Patchy what I mean? Wouldn't that eye, be hysterical? Right? Patchy had an eye that was controlling yeah, right? his brain. <laughs> <laughs> right? They gave him a fake eye, glass eye that had a computer People chip not it. like Patchy. Nonsense. That's right up their wheelhouse. It is. That's it why I really was so is. happy <laughs> to see Paulina running around oh, raiding the countryside. <laughs> you know, that's not good for the environment. We're going to have a Chernobyl this incident is be outside a... of Salem, it, it, and it's I all because just, of the mayor. I know, right? I her. They this is coming her. up in the next election cycle, let me tell you. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, um, of course, they didn't show this to us, but I envisioned Paulina on a snowplow, kind of like a scene from The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> Although her, I can see, you know, she tries to, in her next mayoral campaign, come out as like environmentally friendly. And her opponent puts out a poster of, or a commercial of, yes, Paulina Price sure is green, and it just shows her radiating like that nuclear green. She, she's she's radiating Neon. green. She's glowing green. The sun is yes. going down. It is cold. It is dark. It is blizzarding out there. She finds Chanel, and she goes, come, come here, baby. Come Get close. Get close to my nuclear reaction and stay warm, honey. Salem can't afford the way Paulina, the way Mayor Price is green. Power goes out in the, in the city. She just goes to a nearby outlet and just puts her finger on it. <laughs> and wins re-election in a landslide. Because quite <laughs> frankly, everybody wants to save the environment, but not at all if it inconveniences them. The next right. election is going to come up and the citizens of Salem are going to go, didn't we elect Abe? How did this happen? <laughs> I thought we elected Abe. <laughs> right. Can we get Abe back? <laughs> 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 oh goodness gracious! Mm, 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 mm. Um, Constantine and Matt well, here it engaged. Julie and Julie there is ridiculous as well, but <laughs> great fun. What, what an addition! <laughs> what oh. a ridiculous addition! <laughs> <laughs> she's just like still trying to... I was, I was, I was saying to Matt earlier, it cracked me up because Julie. All those children, everybody being under underneath foot in her small home in the Horton, the Horton house never bothered her a bit. When she goes to a mansion where you can be wings away from folks, it's just too yeah. much. <laughs> you have and all I the mean, space in this house. Go there. <laughs> Talk about poor Johnny and Chanel. What do you want to do? How are they supposed to hippity-dip knowing that Julie's yes. in the other room? I mean, Seriously. 
could there be a colder you know, shower <laughs> than a colder shower Julie coming in? <laughs> like right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like she she showed up with He's like goods. an anti blue pill. <laughs> he was like he was like, Oh hey, here's here's this here's this really romantic dinner for you and me, Chanel. We're really gonna like really, really get it on, like big time. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, Granny? <laughs> okay, well, come on in, it's cold. Why, why, why'd you pick this cabin? Oh, oh, because you didn't realize we were here. Okay. Um, yeah. Nowhere else, though? And been... then Julie and then Julie barges into the room the next day, too. <laughs> Bagels. Uh, oh, gosh, I've done it again. <laughs> this is starting to seem intentional. <laughs> They really should have had, you know, Mother from Pink Floyd playing in the background. Oh, my gosh. Uh, EJ was mayor. Not a good thing. I don't remember EJ being mayor. I know that he's not a particularly um, skillful uh, DA. Um, Ever since he's taken over that job, I think he's convicted all of nobody. Pretty much, huh? (laughs) No, that's not true. Dimitri? (laughs) No, yeah, he got Dimitri to go to jail, and there was somebody else who... Went directly to jail and did not pass go either. No two hundred dollars for Gabby or somebody. That was before. Yeah, was Gabby, it Gabby. Yeah. Oh, that yep. was the first Gabby thing he did. Gabby and Dimitri. Boom. Yeah. Yep. Done. Well, he's 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 good when they're trying to move a character off of the campus. <laughs> got Tate locked up too. Yeah, yeah I don't really I consider did. that a conviction. So he's like two out of three for you know convicting the innocent, two, but two you know. Third. Two and a third. You know, uh, I mean, we're, we're, we, we've opened the door to Dimitri Lee's return. Didn't you don't deserve Supermax. You don't have somebody go, oh, well, let's find out who killed Lee and then not bring Lee back. So that's Lee's exciting. on his way oh, back. We all saw the pictures. We yes. all saw the pictures. We, yes, we did. We saw the 15,000th episode picture in which he was standing in the back. Yeah. In fact, I saw two pictures. I, I spotted him in both of them. And I sent him an yep. Instagram and message. And we've seen you, Gabby. And he said nothing in return. But you know what? He's a busy he man that doesn't now. really watch his Instagram too closely. I know yes. this from setting up the interview. <laughs> uh, yes. Sent last week and not read. Yep, hasn't even looked at it yet. Ribbing and I also, me. it also made me think too that, uh, uh, of course, you know, we saw the hey, photo, dude. but I think the character Lee is going to come back because, you know, last week, Wendy called her parents and they're in such better spirits. Suddenly, I very think much because happier. He's there with them. They're all, They're over that whole dead son thing. Because he's not dead. They're he's hanging in there, out in the living room. They're in there. At least our daughter is alive. Era. She didn't. She didn't mm. die in the uh, in the in the in the beer vat. In yeah, the I saw think, bathroom I think beer, beer. Family vat. is on their way back because not only, yes. is, uh, you know that she does. They don't seem to be so wrecked when they talk to Wendy. And they've had characters on the phone with Mr. Shin two or three times now in the last couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward well, to it. I, I mean, I think that uh, Mr. Shin could give, uh, you know, Trip and Wendy some much needed angst. Yeah. Angst is good. They, they seem to me like they're about to break up. Mm-hmm. Every time Wendy they... spends time with Trip now, she gets all PTSD. He's, he's just being concerned. around him, just being around him, <laughs> oh, brings it all back up too much for being locked up goodness. in the cell. Well, I know what she should do to calm herself down and take a nap. Watch their scenes. Oh my! Oh, oh! I almost <laughs> called you my mom. Uh, did you just? I said. I always said. I oh my! Go see Lucy on General Hospital. Get a couple of gummies. Oh goodness! Yes. yes, there we go. Yeah, I like that better. I like that better. That's maybe, she could just go down to the bistro, right? <laughs> sure, Clyde has gummies in his repertoire. Oh my goodness! Repertoire. Oh no! But you oh. never know what you they know, don't know what they're really listen, what's in them though. You know who doesn't have the 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 Clyde doesn't have gummies. You just need to walk upstairs to the apartment and get them from Lucas. Lucas definitely has. Gummies. Yeah, right. There's no way in Lucas the doesn't have gummies. Lucas definitely has. I was gonna say his, his mom probably has gummies too. 
I would bet Kate has done this. You know, like all he does is sit up in that room, (laughs) continuing to hide from Clyde. That's what Roman has some gummies too. That's why his mouth doesn't move. (laughs) He's just. Can somebody explain to me why Ava and Harris don't just get an apartment when they had to move into his room? Oh, because they they don't have any more apartment sets. It's either be where they're at or um, go to the hotel. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, who is in Chad and Stephanie's old apartment? Um. Because Chad's not there, and Stephanie's sleeping in between her parents again. Actually, she could get her own room and be like neighbors with him because Jade is going to move out of there. I, I think that know. joint kind of defeats the purpose. They just <laughs> unless, unless, the, unless the Hortons will let them or the Brady's will let them take down a wall. They don't just live where <laughs> they work. Like 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 Rafe doesn't just sleep at the station. Rafe has a house. And I've Jade is going to go move in with him now. Why they were always in Jada's room. I know. He's cleaning Why? He out. never needed to do the walk of shame. He never needed to do that. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a good setup then. I think it might be his kink. <laughs> it's always going to be your bedroom. When you move into my house, you're going to have a different room. Mm-hmm. It's... And we're always going to do it in yours. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's the only way it works. Yeah. Or I mean, let but you know what I mean. As the bedrooms, Chad and Ab, Chad and Stephanie's apartment had bedrooms, so let Eric and Sloane move in there. Although they can't afford the rent on the studio, so that might not be a good idea. And let Harris and Ava move into their studio. What? 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 What is? What is this? What is this Eric thing? What is this balancing the checkbook nonsense that this man is up to? Because this is how he finds out. But but I, I get that, but why why is it like, hmm, there's a gap in the budget and not, I've looked at our digital records, Sloan, and I've got a really big question about these huge transactions to Venmo. Like, it's not hard to do it in 2024. No, it's not. No, no, it's... To someone's OnlyFans or something? <laughs> right. What sort of Patreons have you signed up for? <laughs> David likes Trip and Wendy. I don't hate Trip and Wendy. I think Trip and Wendy is fine. I Mostly just think windy. they could be more exciting. Yeah, well, and, I, mean, I mean, soaps need couples that are sweet and fun and light, and you know, they're just not my cup of tea. You could say that, but about, he can't um, stay there very long, or you could oh. see slipping and boring, boring if they leave him that. Bliss is not <laughs> great in the long term. It's you know, and it's tough because you also have to pick you know good angst that that capitalizes on the chemistry that those two actors have. You know, um, they had yes. angst. You know, they they were recently locked and in a beer together. Both of the actors together. are good. I mean, I think it would be interesting if they used the PTSD with Wendy for her to, you know, go back to having an edge. Mm -hmm. You know, she wants to, you know, reclaim her power and her feeling of safety. So she becomes like a vigilante or something. And, you know, they could do some interesting things with it. So is desperate for a vigilante character. I feel like the time has been right for a long time now for a vigilante. And who would make a better bat, better character, better Batman on this set, other than, of course, John Black, <laughs> than Wendy? Well, you know, first, no one would must ever die. see her coming. There's n- her? like she can't have a live parent and be Batgirl. So it's a requirement. Can you imagine her and John Black being vigilantes on, together? I gotta go save you. <laughs> and they're just. You know, he's she's working through her thing. He's working through his thing, and they work together. I cannot and... see. Drake Hogeston in any Batman costume that isn't the Adam West one. You got the Keaton, you got the Kilmer, you got the Clooney. I can picture Wendy as that Robin. <laughs> Just Kapow. the Ward Ramba Robin. <laughs> Zoom. Yes. Um, walking up the building. <laughs> so Ron will be calling oh. us at any moment, Matt. You and I. Oh, great! We're gonna write the scene. Beautiful, beautiful. We, I know we can't use Batman and Robin, but we can use no. like. Bat guy and sparrow. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what's really funny. I'm gonna send you something. You ever watched SpongeBob? Uh, it was it was just one step past my mm-hmm. youth children television watching. I know who SpongeBob okay, so there are SquarePants some characters. is. <laughs> okay, there are some characters on SpongeBob. They are a geriatric superhero duo. 
Oh and yeah, I've seen Cody and I always joke around that they are John and Steve. That's super funny. <laughs> it's like uh, one's got like a starfish on his Mermaid face. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with the character, but no, I didn't. I, I wasn't much of a SpongeBob. I, I thought a few weeks ago <clears throat> that perhaps they were going to have a John and Steve spat. It's fighting. Mm -hmm. You know that maybe they wouldn't be that Black Patch was perhaps going to be no more. There was going to yeah. be some kind of fracture in their friendship because of the Katarina stuff. No, oh, it's okay. But they got past it very, very quickly. That's because I'm saying it's not the problem anymore. It's fine. You guys can just move on and not, not be bothered by this any longer. <laughs> and then it just, <laughs> that just fixed everything. It did. I got a text message from I Angela. I thought they were going to be mad at each other for a minute, though, and they weren't. Yeah, yeah, these guys. These guys. Yes, and this is what they looked like when they were young. <laughs> <laughs> and that is and oh, like yeah. literally I can that send that to Tony like any time and she just cracks up laughing that is very reminiscent of Burt Ward mm -hmm. <laughs> that's super funny that is super funny yep. it's true yep. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy it's true uh, Rafe did not always have a house as Jeannie well you know what nobody who true. owns a house today <laughs> always had a house <laughs> always have a house yes <laughs> and the thing is that Rafe did have a house and Ava actually lived in that house with Rafe Ooh, so when they were I was, together I was poking fun earlier when I'm like oh, Rafe no, and we... Ava used to be together Ava's been around mm -hmm. apparently evidently yes you know yeah I wouldn't want her to be a her, poor trip uh she's exhausting to have as a parent I <laughs> Love all good soap actors are all good soap characters are exhausting to have as a parent. Yeah. I yeah. love Ava. I am so excited for Tamara Braun for her yes. actress Emmy nomination. Very well deserved. I love Ava. And it's really funny because my favorite soap opera character of all time is Carly. And she was my least favorite Carly. But she's your favorite but I Ava the Ava. I love her as Kim. I love, you know, I just wasn't a big fan of her Carly, but I, I love like her as Kim. And I didn't like her as Kim, and I didn't have nothing to do with her. I just didn't yeah. like her. I didn't, like, I, I didn't, I didn't care like about the, the Kim character. Her, char her character was not written well. No. I, didn't think. I mean, I thought she was fine yeah, up I until she tried the to. Kim character. I just, you know, thought she was fine as that character. I just fine, didn't like exactly. how she portrayed Carly. Yeah, I thought she was fine up until she tried to extract Franco's uh, baby maker. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. that's 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 a little extreme. Oh, good, you're leaving the show. Okay, this is your your exit arc. Okay. Okay. But they've always left it open for her to be back. She's got she's got she's got, she's got, got Ava's baby whole, out there. She's got right? Ava's whole whole nibbling, you know, niece or nephew. Yeah. Yep, Ava's she whole does. whole 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 child out there because then it's Julian's she baby. Does. Don't be you confused wrong baby by the people who are confused about it. That is Julian's baby. Yeah, but so does Olivia. And Ava doesn't care. No. <laughs> no, like, no. Well, whatever. because uh, well, Leo Julian's is a falconary. Brother? Don't know him. Leo's a falconary. Yeah. He's not a Jerome. Let's just forget about it. He's a falconer. Well, he's he's a actually a quartermain now. He's a quartermain. He's yep. a falconer yeah, yeah, and yes. a Jerome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, we, 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 you know, last bit, and we, we got to hop off this so we can take a little break before, mm -hmm. before GH. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll say, you know, another GH note. It was really interesting to have um, them reference the fact that Christina and Sam both shared Dante as a brother. Like they made that reference in the last two weeks. And I'm like, oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, interesting. I'm not bothered by the fact that this came up. Maybe it should come up more often. I'm going to need you to say something on the general, your General Hospital podcast, too. Okay. I'll read a note. About something else. Molly did say that Sonny was her uncle in that scene with Alexis. Okay. People keep saying that she didn't, but she did. She said that he is her sister's father and her uncle. People just stop listening. When she was talking with Anna? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. we were like, why is she just talking about her, you know, yeah, Christina? Have, this and not about that. She said them in separate scenes. That's why people yeah. are kind of thinking like, a little bit. She did they say said both. It, she said it in separate scenes. I do find that it's yeah. a little difficult for people I to know. to link all of these little different things together. Because um, they're too busy reacting to the first bit without getting to the end of it. 
Like I saw somebody like live tweeting one of the shows or like, I can't believe I've, yes, Trina's moving out. She's getting her own place. This is a dream come true. This is what I want to see for this character. The future is bright for Trina. She's going to live alone. And I'm like, why do you want Trina to not be on the show? Um, <laughs> and then, and then they, and then, and then she's like, oh no, I'm going to live with Jocelyn. And they're like, what are they doing? You know, and it's just this whiplash of reaction because they didn't wait to the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's one of the joys of soap fandom. It is one of the joys of soap fandom. And it's, it's, it is fun to a degree to watch some of these these conversations happen and, and references like, well, I wanted to live alone. And then I'm like, you don't get it. You don't get it. Well... <laughs> Well, we watch live on Zoom every day, and we mute during the commercials. Yeah, and talk. Yeah, and there are people who are like, "But why is this?" And we're like, "We're all." It's like going to the movies with somebody who's asking questions, and you're like, "We've all been here at the same time." Yeah, <laughs> we're all watching. We're all watching together. None of us have watched ahead of you. Well, well, why did he say that? Well, what's his secret? Well, does Sunny know it. that his medicines have been messed with? <laughs> watching a movie with my grandmother anyway folks thanks for joining us this week for days with days for dummies we I definitely so gave you the days of our back. lives education you better have walked away with just far more days facts now than you started off with because we spent no time practically <laughs> talking about that show uh, we talked about days somewhat we did <laughs> <laughs> No, there was a lot of really good lessons in this Days for Dummies. It is a classroom environment. We learned about how the Emmy reels are submitted, how long they are, how the best at, how the best shows, you know, best director, writing, uh, top show, all mm -hmm. of that is nominated. Uh, we talked about how actors get paid. Adam and Stewart, mm -hmm. so. you know. Uh, mm -hmm. We've talked about history. Rafe has owned a house. Still does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, we covered it. We're good. Oh, and Bobby <laughs> finally signed the papers. Yes, and now all of his memories are going to flood back because Bobby Stein has been written down by his own hand once again. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> well, that was my theory last week, Angela. I don't know if you had a chance to watch the replay, but he was resisting writing down. You know, I'm not going to sign his Bobby. Right, that's not who I am. Because he didn't want to sign that name because that's not yeah, his yeah, name. That's not who he is. So he wasn't going to sign. Was a, there, was a, there was a part in the back of his head saying, if you acknowledge the fact that you were once Bobby Stein, all of these memories you've repressed are coming back. And there's a part of him that knew that. That's my theory. Mm -hmm. And so now that he's signed it off, he's going to struggle real hard. Dun dun. Just oh, I theory. think so too. Just and I think that I his like personality is starting to fracture a little bit when he, when he reacted, when he reacted with Stephanie and kind of scared her a little bit. Mm hmm. You know? So I think that, yeah, I think that Robert character, Bobby character is going to start bleeding through. And I don't think he's a nice man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wasn't a good guy because he was the one that was cheating on Jada and using her money to buy Stephanie a ring. And yeah, yeah. And now yep. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't really know where it's going, so it's hard for me to say. But Stay I'm here tuned. for it. I'm here for the ride. I'm here for the ride. Yeah. Jeannie thinks that it was boring. It can't always be exciting. Um, we, we've talked about it. You know, days days is is in that weird pocket suffering of stuff that happened almost a year ago. That is now coming out on the uh, on the screen. Whether it be strikes, yeah. uh, changes in in owner run, running shows, just overall backstage yeah, they really... WTF tension is going on here. It all affects. Yeah, they really had a lot piled on at the same time. Um, and so I I see. And I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to days of our lives emerging from the ashes. I can see some light yes. at the end of the tunnel when it comes to some of this stuff. I can see a little bit of 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 life and, and Phoenix energy being rising returned. from the ashes, exactly. like Stefano Demira. It's going to take a little bit more time. But <laughs> the I think, true Phoenix is days of our lives. I think we're getting there. There though. you go. Just a little bit more patience, and I think we'll be there. Yes. Yeah. That's my hope. At well. Least. We better get off of here, right? Gonna go have a bagel. Oh my gosh! Now I'm just feeling. Now I feel rushed. Well, I haven't eaten anything, so <laughs> you already said we were leaving. You can just go. You're dismissed. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whatever, kid. She brought you into this world. She'll take you out, boy. Yeah, she'd have to get here first. I have a lot of time. I might have there. to thank you. Got five, <laughs> five or six hours. I'm to get get I'm glad I made it for Days for Dummies today, says Sandra. I'll have to miss the 10th floor today for a meeting. Well, don't go to the meeting. 
<laughs> you skipped a meeting. It's Sunday. What are you doing? Anyway, folks, thanks for joining us. We'll catch you here next week live, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, with what's it, noon? Noon over in the Eastern Eastern feed for Days mm-hmm. for Dummies. Uh, we'll cover it all. Big, exciting new stuff. And maybe we won't cover anything. Who knows? Just come watch. I don't know. <laughs> Just come watch. We're mercurial. <laughs> Just come so, to lecture all. Like this video if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel if you had a good time. Leave a comment. The super chat and super thanks is always open and available for you guys to leave a little tip dar- tip in the jar. To say that more clearly. Um, and we'll see you in about half an hour at 11 a.m. for 10th Floor Podcast covering General Hospital. I think that's it. Fair enough. This might have been my, <laughs> my cleanest sign out for days yet. <laughs> I've been Matt. I've been Kat. And I've been Angela with Matt and Kat. And we'll catch you. Have a good week, everybody. In half an hour. Have a great week.